This is the Nourish Natural Health channel and today I'm going to be talking to you about six vitamins that can help with weight loss with PCOS. So first, why is it so much harder for people with PCOS to lose weight? This is especially hard for people with insulin resistance. So it happens really often with women with PCOS who do all the right things, they're eating right, they're exercising and the weight just isn't budging. And then frustratingly enough, the advice to treat PCOS is to lose weight. So it's a never ending cycle. In order to support women with PCOS to to lose the weight, we have to address the role of insulin in the body as well as looking at the nutritional deficiencies this may cause. Once we've got that down, then we can look at supplementation. First, let's get to know a little bit more about insulin. A common type of PCOS is insulin resistance, PCOS. This can be caused by lifestyle, diet, genetic factors, even chronic stress. Chronic stress over time causes an overreduction of insulin into the bloodstream. Insulin is the hormone that's used to transport glucose into the blood and when there's an overproduction that can lead to insulin resistance which causes higher than usual blood sugar levels it can also speed up fat storage and it plays a role in your hunger hormones which drive cravings and this is why insulin resistance is one of the top reasons why so many women living with PCOS struggle to lose weight starting with inositol this helps with irregular cycles producing egg quality and also it improves insulin resistance with inositol it's really important to get the right kind the two forms of inositol, myo-inositol and d inositol are the two forms that work best in women with PCOS and studies find at a 40 to 1 ratio they do work the best at treating women with insulin resistance. Our cycle, regulate and ovulate supplement does include both kinds of inositol in the 40 to 1 ratio. The next one for us to talk about is chromium particularly chromium picolinate. This form of chromium not only helps cycle regulation and ovulation, but it also helps to suppress those cravings that are driven by insulin resistance. A double blind study followed women for six months who took chromium picolinate. They found that they had lower insulin levels, they had more regular periods, and they ovulated more often than the placebo group. The next one with no surprises is magnesium. This is because magnesium plays a role in over 300 different processes in the body. Specifically in women who live with PCOS, taking magnesium can actually reduce inflammation and it can also help with insulin resistance. It's actually very common for people to be deficient in magnesium. And interestingly enough, type 2 diabetes, which is another insulin resistant condition, has a strong correlation as well with magnesium deficiency. It's believed that up to 75% of people with type 2 diabetes also have magnesium deficiency. Omega-3 fatty acids is another fantastic supplementation which does work on insulin resistance but also it helps to lower androgen levels. Higher than normal androgen levels in the body in women with PCOS disrupt the hormonal cascade that leads to ovulation. And when ovulation doesn't happen and instead these fluid filled sacs grow on the ovaries, this is what causes low grade inflammation which leads to insulin resistance. This is why omega-3 fatty acids are so important with women living with PCOS because they work on lowering the androgen levels as well as lowering the insulin resistance. So that is two different mechanisms that is targeting. The next one might surprise you and that is cinnamon. Cinnamon has a beautiful smell and flavor and the compound that produces this smell and flavor is called cinnamaldehyde. And this is the compound that produces health benefits. So studies show that about half a teaspoon a day can lower blood sugar levels and help with insulin resistance. It can also help with cycle regularity and it can also help you to reduce period pain. Lastly, it can also help to lower the low-grade inflammation that is often associated with PCOS. The last one we're going to talk about is general antioxidants. Vitamin C and vitamin E act as antioxidants in the body. Oxidative stress is caused by free radicals in the body, which are quite common as they are a waste product produced by the body when we are making energy. However, the levels of free radicals are higher in those with PCOS, so we need more of the antioxidant vitamins like vitamin C and vitamin E. Essentially, Essentially, these vitamins go into the body and they act as little scavengers. They find these free radicals and they eliminate them from the body. Vitamin C also increases metabolic enzymes, whereas vitamin E has been shown to help reduce fat mass. So with all of that information, how do you choose 
the right supplement. First is purity and potency. We want to make sure that the right levels of these vitamins are contained within your supplements, but also not too much that it's going to have a harmful effect. We also don't want any additives in there that's going to cause any other free radical stress in your body. The next one is manufacturing standards. This makes sure that you are getting a quality product. If the supplement has a certification, even better. Within the ingredients, we also want to look for a synergetic combination. This is when two ingredients work really well together in their own mechanisms and then we combine them to have a positive effect on the body. Lastly, the company should have a reputation and expertise in PCOS. Look, this is a lot of information and if you're still kind of confused by all of this, why don't you head to our website to take our free quiz to figure out what could be the root cause of your PCOS. This quiz will give you the answers that you may need to help you shop for the right supplement for you. Any other questions you have, leave them down below. Let us know in the comments what's worked for you. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and to turn on your notification bells so that you don't miss any other updates when it comes to the realm of PCOS. We're here for you and we'll see you next time.